What's up ladies and gentlemen and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max and today we've got the all new Kia EV6 GT, the fastest version of the very popular Kia EV6 and it is actually quite an impressive car. So today I'm going to show you around it, we'll take a look at the spec, uh, I'll talk you through all the tech stuff and then We'll take it for a drive towards the Autobahn for an Autobahn blast. But before we continue, I just want to take a moment to thank today's sponsor, which is Athletic Greens. AG1 is their product, and it is a comprehensive all-in-one nutritional drink that is engineered to fill the nutritional gaps in your diet. It supports your body's needs across four pillars of health. Gut health, immune support, recovery, and energy. It is perfect for your morning routine because this nutritional drink is packed with 75 vitamins and minerals without the need to take multiple pills or multivitamins or supplements or whatever. It is all in this one drink. AG1 is nine health products in one. So I've been drinking AG1 for a few months now to support my immune system and gut health because a lot of your immune system is actually in your gut. It also keeps my energy levels up during the day and it tastes pretty good. It's a bit like white chocolate meets super fresh greens. Tastes healthy. So it really simplified my morning routine. If you want to simplify your morning routine as well, click the link in the description to get a one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3K2 and five travel packs free with your first purchase. Big thanks to Athletic Greens for sponsoring this video. Go check them out and enjoy the video. Now, this is a pre-production model, I have to say, but there are not that many things that are bad or whatever. Finishing is really good. Apparently there are some things that they are going to improve upon. Apparently the production model is going to be a little bit softer on the front axle and the difference between the driving modes will be a bit bigger. But I have to say for pre-production model, this thing feels pretty damn solid. Now the EV6 is very, very popular, especially in the Netherlands. I think especially in, in countries where you have a good infrastructure for charging and of course uh, we have a lot of benefits for driving electric cars so that means that this car is very popular here well the normal version is so there is a rear wheel drive version 58 kilowatt hour 77 kilowatt hour uh, and an all-wheel drive version with like 325 horsepower but this is the big daddy the gt has 585 horsepower and 740 newton meters dual motor setup 218 at the front 367 at the rear and it is an 800 volt architecture so that means that just like porsche they use basically the best system available which allows for more extraction more regeneration less heat development uh, the entire system I, I talked about this in length in uh, our porsche taycan reviews but uh, short version it is just much much better and much more capable at delivering performance run after run without getting too hot so yeah kudos to kia for going for the 800 volt stuff it is just miles better uh, you can also see that because the range is much more stable so with some electric cars when you floor it you can see the range going down or when you drive fast you can see the range going down like a kilometer a second basically uh, but with this one it is more on the pessimistic side even so what you can see when you've driven like 30 kilometers that only 15 kilometers have gone down uh, on your range so that is quite nice that does battle the range anxiety on this car spec wise we've got this yacht blue which is very nice very very nice i would definitely recommend anyone uh, looking at this car to go for this color because i mostly see them in white or gray but this works much much better very nice uh, the gt gets a little bit more of an aggressive front bumper to let you know that this is the sporty version but it is actually quite hard to differentiate them it's not crazy it is also a gt so it's not a sports car daytime running lights here which i always felt like look a bit outdated because i think it's because of that pattern it makes it look like old school daytime running lights uh which is kind of weird but there are a lot of shapes in there a lot of black accents as you can see and then the gt gets 
these 21 inch wheels also to house these bigger brakes 10 percent bigger brakes at the front four percent bigger brakes at the rear for the gt the suspension geometry at the front is different we've got softer springs at the front stiffer springs at the rear we've got stiffer anti-roll bars a lower ride height five millimeters uh, because we have different springs and it's got electronically adjustable dampers as well so the different ride modes give you different damper stiffness so a, a lot of serious stuff actually with the gt this is also in body color when you have a regular one this is in black the gt line also gets that i think then we've got black mirrors quite a nice roof line it is quite a weird car because it's it's rather large but it, i wouldn't call it an suv it is basically a very large hatchback But I do have to say, you know, with that super bright green accent, also specifically to the GT, combined with that black and blue, I quite like it. I think it's quite a striking car. We also have Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires, by the way. So these are 255s at the front and at the rear as well, 255 all around. At the rear, we've got a big rear light LED bar, basically. And again, quite like the rear. I think it's... It's a, it's a bit of a weird car, but I, I do quite like it. Also have this spoiler here, but I think the regular one also gets that. And then a little hint of a diffuser. And is that a fog light? That is pretty cool as well. Open that up. You get a GT badge on the rear. Quite a decent boot actually. And this is how you can tell that you've got quite a big car. So the boot is pretty decent, but this is much more impressive. So the rear seat setup, this is so comfortable. The only problem is that the floor is quite high because you know the batteries are in the floor, of course. But this is behind myself. Uh, and I am quite tall, as you know. So that is pretty damn impressive super spacious got plenty of headroom as well meridian surround sound on this car as well yeah not bad quite clever and then frunk can we open that with the button as well no i don't think so there is a frunk right yeah Oh, there's no frunk. So the electric motor is here, the front motor. So, no frunk. Looks like a regular car, what the hell. All right, and then inside, we've got a couple of very cool things as well. So we've got these beautiful bucket seats with a vegan suede and they are super supportive. Seating position is great. Green piping and green stitching for the GT as well. And then we've got this two spoke steering wheel, quite weird with a GT button there in green as well. A floating center console with all your driving stuff and your heated seats, heated steering wheel, drive selector and Infotainment wise, double screen there, which looks pretty decent, quite sharp actually. And uh, I, I think this is very clever. So you have your, basically your infotainment menu right here. So your map and your uh, radio, whatever. But if you hit this button, it changes to your AC. But I quite like it because it's a very sensitive screen. So yeah, I, I like the matte look of it. Uh, it's clear, it's quick. You have everything here. You don't have to go into the system to do everything basically. So yeah, I quite like that. I think that is quite smart. We've got a lot of storage down here, a lot of USB ports, this weird fake leather stuff, more storage, wireless charger. So yeah, it, it has been kitted out pretty damn well. All right, so let's go for a drive. That 77 kilowatt hour battery 800 volt system it really does give a very good driving experience although with this ev6 gt they did 
sacrifice range for performance. Range claimed by Kia is 424 kilometers, while there are EV6 models out there that have a claimed range of over 500 kilometers. So you do get a very, very quick car, but you do sacrifice a bit of range for that. So we're going to turn off the lane keeping. And we have the active sound design on right now. It's on dynamic, so you've got a bit of sound, stylish. Quite like that one, cyber. <laughs> but you can also uh, turn it off altogether, which I think I would prefer for daily driving. So when you have it off, you just hear a bit of the whirring of the electric motors, which is quite nice. So handling wise, the thing actually feels pretty damn solid. It weighs around 2200 kilos, so it is quite heavy, but it is also quite large. But I have to say that handling wise, they have done quite a good job. Balance is, I think, 49.51, so that also helps. Quite nice. Now, if we go to GT mode, that suddenly wakes everything up and makes everything a lot more sensitive, especially the throttle. They also quickened the steering rack for the GT. Damn. Okay, so let's do a launch. EV, GT mode, full throttle. Quite a bit of wheel spin, especially at the front there. And that is zero to 100 in. The fastest we've been able to measure is 3.7 seconds, uh, which is a bit slower than the 3.5 Kia claims, but nonetheless, very quick. Now I do have to say that the battery wasn't fully charged when we did it and uh, this car has been on track, so the tires, yeah, they're not perfect. So that does make a difference. So let's take it to the Autobahn. It is quick and it feels really solid. I quite like that. It, I think they found a really good balance between sportiness and comfort. Of course, it is a GT, so that is what they try to do with this car. Seems rather busy. It is Friday, so that is usually bad news. Now, a benefit of the 800 volt system, as I said, is that you can extract multiple runs from it while keeping the same performance. At least that is what we have found with, with previous 800 volt cars. But it also means that you have very fast charging. So this car can charge up to 350 kilowatts which means 10 to 80% in 18 minutes in perfect condition. So when there's no one around, you have the charger for yourself. And everything is perfect, 350 kilowatts. Now, to give a little perspective to you guys, that means that you can charge 100 kilometers of range in four and a half minutes. So you can just stop quickly, have a drink or whatever, a sandwich, and you have 100 kilometers extra. So that is pretty damn impressive. And that does make it very usable. Now we also have regenerative braking, of course, with pedals. So I've got it in auto mode right now, but you can switch using the pedals. So if that works. Yeah, there we go. So level zero is no regeneration, just rolling, sailing, which I always prefer. Quite like that feel of effortless sailing. And then you can use the pedal to increase the regenerative braking. So full throttle, 100 to 200 kilometers an hour, of course, we also measured that with the EV6 GT and we did a 9.3 run. 
which is quite quick, quicker than a Tesla Model Y performance, but not quicker than a Porsche Taycan 4S, for instance. So it is performing rather well, 585 horsepower, but it's not performing as well as the Porsches are, but yeah, Porsche is king. I mean, the Taycan is amazing and uh, it just performs a bit better. But here's the kicker. This thing only costs 70,000 euros in the Netherlands, less even, 69 something. And that is with all the optional extras. So it is about half the price of a Porsche Taycan GTS which is pretty insane and it's got the performance to beat uh, the Taycan from 0 to 100. Range wise the Taycans are you know on average a little bit better but as I said you can also go for a rear wheel drive version that has a range of over 500 kilometers so if that is what you want you can go for that one. Apparently there's also a drift mode we've not been able to find it but I do believe that it's there and um, Apparently you can do some pretty impressive slides with it. And I believe them because the balance on this thing is actually pretty impressive. Even though it, it's quite heavy, the suspension feels solid. The platform feels eager to please, basically. It feels like a car that wants to have fun on occasions. Top speed, 260 kilometers an hour. We've been able to do that verified with GPS so the car actually performs really well comparing to other EV cars from performance brands like the EQE 43 or 53 those cars are limited at 210 or 240 I believe this thing will do 260 so that is quite impressive as well all in all quite a good car actually love driving it uh, it is quite comfortable and it delivers if you want to sacrifice your range for performance the GT is the one and it will be available later this year. So that is it for this review. Hope you enjoyed it. You can subscribe by clicking the big button in the middle. You can also check out this video on the right or this playlist on the left. See you at the next one. Bye.